And now we would have our introduction of the speaker. And after that, we would have our Solomonic solo. And following the Solomonic solo, we will have the word of God in that order. I do thank you today for letting me be your presider. And I just want you all to just God bless you. I love you as Jesus did too. Hey Amen. She did a good job, didn't she? Let's give her a hand. Amen. Amen. There's a, uh, just one announcement before I get into the, the, introducing our speaker. Don't forget Friday night we do have a church visit. Look in your program. Please look in your program. You may have to look really, really hard to look at the address, but it's on there. And if you're not sure, if you're not sure, ask someone who will try to get you that address. If you can, make it. Uh, due to un circumstances with myself, I, mean, I have death in the family, so I won't be able to come. I, I really was looking forward to going because that's my family down there as well, too. So, uh, but uh, due to death in the family, I will not be going. So, if many of you that can make it, please, please, please make that extra sacrifice and uh, put forth some effort and to support the, the church and pastor. Okay, the next one, I think I have one more announcement. But anyway, but anyway, and as we were, as the choir was singing and going forth and, and, and you know, we can look at, look at the congregation, but God has really blessed us with some good, good members. Although we, it, it's not 10,000 of us, God has blessed us what we need in this sanctuary. God has really blessed us. And also to, um, now that's gonna lead me on into uh, our speaker for today. God has really blessed us with a professional singer, a professional musician. He is the cream of the crop when it comes down to the drums, when it comes down to singing, when it comes down to the bass. And I always tease him sometimes. I said, sometimes when you play that bass sound like you have three hands instead of two hands. If you ever heard him play like that, I have. That only comes with the anointing. He has something special, gift that God has given him that he did not give other musicians. Minister Joe has it. Minister Tony has it. Brother Keevan has it as well, too. But the point I'm trying to make out when I say the cream of the crop is right here in our midst. Every church don't have that luxury. We have it. Not only that he plays those instruments, he's getting ready to bring forth the word of God. Every musician cannot do that. He can. So whatever the Lord has put on his heart and on his mind to bring forward, to us, please, please just listen. Take it in. And I'm pretty sure somewhere in your life you're going to need it. I know I will. And I'm pretty sure you will too. So just listen. Just listen to what the Lord has put on him that you'll be able to use it in your everyday walk. Right after our somatic selection, stand tall and give him a standing ovation as he bring forth the word. Thank you. 
before before I begin, I want to uh, inspire the missionary Jane to uh, say something right quick. Um, after church, can I see the youth department? It's not going to be long. It will be brief. So if I can see you after church, about to next. God bless you. demonstration of God's power. Amen. I want to thank God for the shepherd of this house, Pastor Grimes, First Lady Grimes, Brother Eason, Brother Eason, I mean Mother Eason, and speaking things into existence. Amen. Our deacon brethren. Amen. God bless you. Always working, always on point. Yeah. Now, Mother's Board, amen. Thank God for you. Yeah. And the God bless you. Now, ushers. Yes, God. Yeah. Yep, we have to give, give our ushers a little a hand clap too because they're the ones that do everybody before they come 